right, now the guys who started the whole uh, seven string guitar movement back in the 90s. Uh, this is Korn, Blind. And of course for this, uh, I'm just gonna transpose it for a six string and go from there. I mean, I'm gonna assume most of us only have six strings. Uh, sorry if you're the seven string guy trying to figure this out, but I would think you would know it by now because this is like typical for a seven string playing. But anyway, so it's standard tuning. We're just going to stick with that. Okay. And uh, just, a, you know, a bunch of chunks of riffs here. Nothing too wild. Uh, it's going to start off with a uh, first guitar part here. And it's just that really dissonant uh, chord that they're hitting four times, you know. Um, so it's going to be first fret on the G. And we're going to third fret on the B. It's not really... Nasty sounding little chord there. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna do it four times pretty quick. Okay, so that's the first guitar going along. And then, uh, of course, then we'll come in the, uh, the second guitar, which is doing the kind of heavier riff here. And uh, that'll be, um, essentially, we're just gonna do like an A. And then we're going to bring that to a B power chord. So second fret here on the A and then four on the D string. Okay. And then open again. And then to third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D for the C power chord. Okay, now we'll just repeat that whole thing twice. And that's just kind of, you know, interlacing with the other guitar part. Okay. So one does its bit, and the other does the other riff. And so you can essentially just do both parts if you like. The whole thing just kind of kicks in uh, to the heavier, big-sounding riff. And it's essentially the same thing that we were doing. Except after we get to this point, we're going to come up to 6th fret on the A, and we're going to do that four times as the power chord. So 6 on the A, 8 on the D string. So we're hitting it there instead of that. Okay. the verse section comes in and uh, he's using a wah pedal through this and he's just kind of you know just gradually pressing it down and bringing it back and then pressing it down and back and uh, essentially he's just doing a really slow bend here and a fifth fret on the G for that and then third on the B so we're just kind of gradually doing that unison bend As we bend the fifth fret there, it's going to match the note of that third. Just a real slow bend. And slowly bring it back and keep bending again. And it's going to be about four measures of that. And like I said, as we're doing that, we're using the wah pedal. So, and uh, I'll put a link in the description for the effect and all that so you can check it out. So we'll start here and we'll just kind of start with the wah open and then just gradually depress it, depress it as we're bending. The second half of that verse, he just kind of brings it up higher, and uh, we're going to do that here, slide E string, go first to five, okay. and then from there we're doing that fifth on the E and a three on the B, we're just kind of hitting this. 
nervous, like, chords and bringing the wah in as well. And take it to three on the E, three on the B. And then here we go, that three on the E, just pull it off to a second on the E, staying on the three on the B. Top it all off, we'll just end with that bend again on the five of the G while holding the three on the B. Okay, and this is just a real kind of faint, super effect heavy, you know, treatment going on here. So you can be pretty loose with it, doesn't have to be super exact. And this will be pretty basic. It's a okay, fifth fret on the A, seven on the D. So we get that. D power chord. Bring it up the fret. Slide it back down. Slide it back up. And then we do 6th fret on the D and 8th fret on the G. Really. And then we do essentially the same thing again, but instead of going up to that high 6th fret on the D, we're just going to drop it down a fret to the 4th fret on the A, 6 on the D. Okay. All right. And then once you get that, then we, you just repeat those two parts once again. Okay, and now the bridge section. Uh, this here, it's going to be pretty basic. We're just going to hit the D power chord. So, f 5 on the A, 7 on the D. And then we hold that for a measure. Then we bring it up a fret so that we're 6 on the A, 8 on the D. But here, we're going to add another note, which is basically just adding a, a 7th to this 5 chord that we're doing here. Just to give it that kind of trippy, ethereal little bit of sound there. outro uh, that funny little part that comes in at the end with the bass kind of scaling and then uh, some like kind of Tom Morello sounds coming in there uh, this here it's just going to be a hopefully you have 24 frets so you're going to have to come all the way up to the 24 of the E and we just give that a little half bend and then just cut it right at the top of it okay So we're going to do that twice. And then we drop down here. And we want to pre-bend the 15 on the G while we're doing the 13 on the B. And then have it pre-bent and then just hit it and release it. Okay. So we do that 24 bend twice. And then we do that pre-bent release. That's corn blind. Uh, like I said, this is the six-string transposition of it. Uh, you know, it's not going to sound quite as low and heavy because you know we don't have that other string to drop everything an octave. But it's essentially all the same chords going on, just 
you know, it's going to be higher voicings, of course. And uh, hopefully with your six string, you get it to sound close enough and be good to go. Uh, press that subscription button. It helped me out a bunch. I appreciate that. And uh, stay corny. <laughs>